Hey you guys, welcome back to a new YouTube video on my channel. My name is Pam Harry and I'm sitting on my tattoo desk, so I guess you all know what that means. I'm going to tattoo myself again today. And today's tattoo we are going to do is this cute heart-shaped cherry tattoo, which I designed by myself with some inspiration of different tattoos I've seen on Pinterest. I'm going to use this one for the outlines and then I'm going in with the dot shading technique which I have done on most of my other tattoos and it's just a shading technique which I'm most comfortable with. I have also tattooed myself about two or three weeks ago and I haven't put it on YouTube because it was just looking really weird when I was tattooing myself since it's on my hip and I was just really lying really weird like this so I thought it's not a good idea to put that on YouTube. But I can actually show it to you right now. I try to cover up my dragon tattoo, which I have done on myself in May, so it's about half a year ago. I've done it over once again, but it's just really bad since it's hard to tattoo yourself in this spot and it's really faded. And I didn't really like the tattoo anymore, so I decided to just put a blacked out tattoo over it. Um, well, not fully blacked out, but I decided to put this cute Japanese style tattoo on my hip and I have two of them already blacked out but the third one I haven't yet because I was just in too much pain and it took really long so but I'm definitely going to do that one in the near future and I have a lot of other space to cover up as you can see but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet so stay tuned if you want to know about what I'm going to do but today we are going to do this cute tattoo so let's just get the setup ready and start tattooing The stencil is now on my leg and now I'm just going to change quickly since I don't want to mess up my clothes. So yeah. So my tattoo setup is finished. Just want to show you quickly which products I use. I use this dynamic ink for the black ink obviously. Then this is the needle I use. This is a 1209 round liner from Gorilla. I think it's called like that. I'm not sure. Got this one from a tattoo website which I found on the internet. And then this is my tattoo machine. This is the Moss Super Rotary machine, literally from Amazon. So <laughs> let's get started. Of course, we're going to put on some gloves. We're ready to go. I put the voltage on 7.3. My tattoo machine is ready, so let's go.
I finished all of the lines and I am not going to do this small line because I'm going to do the shading and now I put the voltage down to 5.5 and now I'm going to start with the shading.
we're finished for today. Um, my tattoo looks really, really nice. Ignore the mess in the background. My back hurts as always and my neck hurts and everything hurts of just constantly looking down. Here's the tattoo right there. Really good matching because of the shading with all of the other tattoos which are also done with dot shading, especially the dolphin. So it matches really good with all the other tattoos. I'm very happy I have another tattoo on my leg. I have a little more space, so I will for sure be tattooing some more tattoos on my legs in the future. Well, that's it, <laughs> actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Give a thumbs up if you did. Oh, well, my hand is a little blue over here. And make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.